program census is a promising technique that automatically generates programs on behalf of users. Users do not have to write any code, but only need to provide some high-level program specifications. Over the years, research has shown that program census is applicable to many domains, such as task transformation and the data extraction. For example, to generate a program that only matches US phone numbers, the user can add some positive and negative examples. The synthesizer will then generate a program like a record expression that matches the two positive examples and does not match the negative example. Like many machine learning models, existing synthesizers follow a black box design. As a result, there is no way to troubleshoot if a synthesizer is behaving weirdly or if there is a census failure. In this work, we propose interpretable program census, the first approach that opens the black box and helps the users understand the census process. So users can diagnose abnormal behaviors and guide the synthesizer to recover from those behaviors. It's very challenging to directly visualize or explain the runtime behavior of a synthesizer to users because synthesizers are quite sophisticated. Instead, we choose to visualize the explored program space so users can understand in what direction the synthesizer is searching and where the synthesizer is wasting a lot of time. Our approach requires instrumenting a synthesizer so it will keep logging the programs it has tried during the synthesis process. Then our approach visualizes this program candidates in three different ways. Based on the insights from the visualization, the user can provide different kinds of feedback to guide the synthesis process, such as prioritizing or eliminating a search direction. In particular, we implemented an interpretable synthesizer for record expressions. We choose regular expressions because it's widely used, it's hard to use, and it's hard to synthesize. After you add some examples and click the Start button, you can monitor the synthesis process through a live updated line chart. This line chart shows the speed and the trend of the underlying synthesis process. You can easily find out how many programs have been tried so far and how many examples have been satisfied by each program candidate. If you find something weird, like the line being zigzagging for a while, you can make an early interruption and check what's really going wrong. After each census iteration, you can use different sampling strategy to inspect concrete program candidates from the explored program space. If you hover the mouse over a program candidate, the input-output examples will be highlighted in different colors. Green means the example is satisfied by the program, and the red means it's not satisfied by the program. You can also look at the search directions a synthesizer has been through. The tree visualization clusters all explored programs based on how they are derived from an empty program step by step. The root of the tree is an empty program, and the internal nodes are partial programs derived from the empty program. By expanding the internal node, you can see how a partial program is further concretized during the census process. Each branch of the tree can be viewed as a search direction. You can prioritize a search direction that looks promising to you or eliminate a search direction that looks unproductive. In this way, you can manually prune the search space for the synthesizer and improve the search efficiency. We did a within subject lab study with 18 students from Howard Seas. Each student finished two randomly selected tasks in two conditions. One task using the interpretable synthesizer and the other task using the same synthesizer without interpretability support. We found that the interpretable synthesis is mostly useful in challenging tasks because the synthesizer often gets stuck on those challenging tasks and fails to generate any program in a given time. When using a black box synthesizer, users can do nothing but just tweaking their examples by guesswork. But with the interpretable synthesis, they can troubleshoot and figure out in which direction the synthesizer was wasting a lot of time. Then they can prune the search space by removing the unproductive search pass. We also found that interpretability did not introduce more cognitive effort, and the users perceived much less frustration when using interpretable senses. Please read our full paper to find more interesting results.